everybody, I'm Eileen from ET Speed My Home Vlog. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you this MyView Drive 55LM. You might be wondering what are they? They basically, they are car set nav with a dash cam. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the box, show you the different compartment that we have in there, and then I'm gonna take you through the menu and I'll test it out in my car and show you the different clips in it. So let's take a look now. Inside the box, it comes with the instruction and this DVD. This DVD is basically for your desktop. You just need to download the apps and then you can access your uh, video. But to be honest, I just simply place my uh, micro SD card into my computer and then I can just watch the video straight away without having using this. But if you wanna have that, it's fine. You can just download on your computers. Right, this is the clip. Uh, it, the suction is really, really strong, which is really nice. And uh, this is just like a slide in and out. So I was just gonna show you. So there's a groove here. So what you do is just slide in like that and it will click onto your uh, windows and uh, you want to take it out which I normally take it out because I do not want to leave this in a car just in case someone stolen it uh, you just need to sort of like press here and then slide it off okay uh, it's really easy to do it so let me put it aside and it comes with this uh, car charger it's about 1.2 meter long I have placed um, this device in the middle and on my uh, right hand side and left hand side I tried to use the length and the length is just perfect okay um, it's, it's um, good enough to reach all extreme area okay and it also comes with this 16 gigabyte micro SD card uh, I know that some dash cam or whatsoever they do not come with that and this is great that they come with this so that I will not need to buy uh, the micro SD card now this is the device let me go into details of this for this device they said that they will include lifetime map and safety camera so you will not need to worry about um, having to pay for every single update um, this is the sort of the back of the device and you can see this is the camera so i'm just gonna show you how easy it is to move it around um, because when you place this uh, the, the car sat nav in the middle you you just need to place it in the middle but you if you place it onto your right hand side you sort of have to uh, readjust it um, every time when you change your position and um, this is the on off button it said that uh, you need to charge this car sat nav for 12 hours beforehand but this is they, they did not include any uh, mini USB cable for me to charge it but luckily I have one at home that I have uh, has charged it for 12 hours using my computer before I uh, use this device right and uh, this is the reset button just in case anything happen or you want to sell it or whatsoever you just use a pin and press it in and uh, that is the reset button and uh, this is the speaker so don't cover it otherwise you cannot hear it clearly and um, not sure if you can see this two hole here this is the microphone so whatever you um, speak in the car itself you can um, it will record it here okay let's turn it around so for over here I'm not sure if you can see it clearly um, that is the car charger let me uh, quickly plug it in and show you so this is for you to uh, put your car charger so it will bend it this way and then you have this let me remove this have this um, ST card uh, this is a spare micro SD card slot for you to slot it in for extra memory um, obviously at the moment I did not buy it that's not necessary I need that much of memory inside there so didn't use that and this if you see a camera here there's a red dots here is which camera which is for you to place your uh, real camera if you have one so you can put it through here for you to connect for your real camera okay right 
this is where you should put in your micro SD card this is to record the video so let me take out my micro SD card and then place it in and show it to you so just simply if you can see that just slot it in and then you will sort of click it in so this is for your uh, recording for your camera okay for your dash cam this is a 5 inch wide um, LCD with touch panel so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it on and show you every uh, individual menu and uh, how I uh, use it when you first turn on this um, device it will ask you to put in your key code the key code can be found outside the box itself so you need to put in the key code and it will sort of register and then uh, through the GPS it will set your time and set the date itself and uh, if you can see over here it said the GPS whether they found it or not and how much is your battery life in there and that is when you press it, it will straight away go into your uh, camera so that you sort of can adjust it or you can use through the menu itself and over here is the date and the time so this is the main menu fine is for you to oh, let me press it here so to find is to put in uh, your set nav so you can find uh, the post through the postcode the keywords the address so once you've done that it will sort of uh, find the location calculate it okay let me go back to the menu first and this is the map so for example you roughly know the place but you just want to look at the map you also can do that by pressing this okay uh, my place I did not set anything yet I'm not gonna do it but let's take a look at the setting itself so setting you can go for the audio like if you want to turn it louder and loud the touch audio means that uh, when you're in the map you want to turn down the volume or turn up the volume you can uh, use a quick and simple tap twice and then there's this volume thing that you can uh, increase or decrease itself let's go back first and then the screen uh, for you to do your setting for brightness I left it as the default so didn't really bother about it um, this is the setting for the safety uh, again I just left it in default but if you're not happy with anything of this you can just change it it does scare me when uh, there's a safety camera it will sort of inform you about 300 yards before um, the safety camera so sometimes I was just get scared when, uh, because um, this thing was like right safety camera but if you want to take away the audio you can do that okay let me press it so you can have no alert visual or you know for both right so this sort of thing is like you have to um, use it and then you see which option you want that is the type of road because there's three mode here where you can pick which is quite nice there's car caravan and truck so because it's truck they will sort of measure the um, your truck and then make sure that they don't make you go towards those um, narrow uh, bridge or uh, low bridge you know those sort of things so if you are a truck this is quite useful for you and if you are with a caravan that's a different height and then you know you, there's a certain place that you have to avoid especially those country lane you don't really want to drive a truck in a country lane for example so which is quite nice so they will not route you into those small road um, I just left it on car because this is what I'm using this is um, you can so whenever you put in your postcode they will give you four different options you can select fast economic easy or shortest but if you prefer them to give you just one option you can just select it here otherwise on the map itself they will calculate all these four different 
type of route that you want to use and then you just simply press the one that you want okay this is to choose on the map itself so custom avoid like which area you want to avoid for example so it's quite nice that they have this kind of feature for you to uh, add it in um, if you want to capture anything it's all here okay all right um, the map display so you can like zoom in you can have 3d or 2d here okay and uh, this is more like the different color uh, I did have to change the color itself because um, now it's summertime and uh, it's quite bright so certain color don't match it because uh, when we was driving um, all the color look the same suddenly I think because of all the lighting it just I, I, I have to choose some uh, option of like being a bit darker so that I can see it especially when the sun shines onto the car um, that's slightly a bit of reflection and then you cannot see the cars uh, the color so uh, strong so I have to sort of play around with the color itself to suit the one that I like now let's get out of here and then the time zone the Bluetooth if you want to have demo or help it's all here so that is about the setting and uh, that's a camera I'll, I'll show you in a minute but let me go through here first so you can um, have different option of exploring the place this is the live traffic you have to you want to plan your trip for example you have like five different places to go so you want to plan it first you, you know this sort of thing and road simulation is more like uh, you want to go somewhere but you just want to check how far it takes uh, you can do that and then this is to capture it's uh, more like the place that you want to capture but the location but um, well, well he just captured something anyway um, this is the mode which I can sh uh, I did show you beforehand on the setting itself you also have an option on the menu and uh, press home so for example you set your home um, that is the place to set um, near me like uh, you want to find some shop so let's back into the menu all right this is the camera itself at the moment it's not taping anything because the camera is faced onto the uh, table but let me double tap it not sure if you can see it but I don't think you can see it so you got this option of uh, setting of video recording you can record uh, one minute three minutes or five minutes so it depends on you but I'll just leave it as default so every clip will be about three minutes you have sound recording if you want to have sound recording inside the car itself you can do that and then this is all the sensitivity that you can um, sort of adjust it so like how sensitive you want so um, every time if you break hard or whatsoever the recording will save it onto another folder uh, it will sort of like tell you which folder it will be in so if you want to have that you can do that um, and then for this video they only come with two um, resolution so these are the two resolution so the standard one is uh, 1008 but if you want to go for extreme high D you can do that by pressing this okay for default it, it went for the lower one so there's only two uh, res resolution that you can choose from here okay let's go back and you can take some still pictures so um, for example you want to take a car right in front of you or a location you can just press that and it will capture the uh, picture so the, the location so double tap it and then uh, it will go back to the menu here sorry let me double tap it again and then you can uh, for example you want to view back the video you also can do that by going to here playback and then it will tell you the video the event the photo that you've taken so it will give you all the option here for you to uh, pick whichever file you want to view it right now okay let's go back so this is roughly how it is for the camera itself um, 
So let me show you how I use the map itself. So uh, let's go and find the location. So I want to key in the, for example, the keyword. I'm gonna put Dre. Oh, let's, let's put in the location. Oh, that is the enter. And then. For example, like that, strip mail, and then wait for it to search. Might take a few seconds to search it, but uh, we search around the area according to my uh, GPS. So there's these places that it have found, and I will go further and further. Uh, for example, I just press this one. And then they said that is this the location? I said yes. Let's go. And it give you these four option uh, to choose from. As I did mention, you can choose it on the map itself, or you can uh, just go to your setting and um, select one of them. So every time they only show one of them on your map. So for example, I went for the shortest. Oh, and I, I press go. And then it will calculate Exit the route. Yards. Continue straight, short but slang. So this is um, how it will look. And you're gonna look on the side here. Let me press it again. It will tell you the ETA. Uh, what's the time now? Uh, after a while, this thing will um, go off itself. And this is the camera. So the moment you on your device, it will start recording. So, oh sorry, let me press it again. It will show you these three options to stop recording, to you know, to go to the menu or whatsoever. So whenever you want to go back to your main uh, menu, you double tap it, and then you can let, let's cancel it first. Yes, and then if you want to go to the main menu, let's double tap and then press this button here, and it will go back to the menu again. Okay, so this is how to uh, use it. I do love the idea of having a dash cam and a set nav at the same time. It means that I do not need um, to have two different gadgets in the car itself. I mean, I do find that some places I do not need the car set nav, so I just put it as a recording, which is um, good enough. Um, obviously, I have to keep removing this uh, device because I don't want people to come and steal it in the car. I don't feel safe to put it in because um, it's worth quite a lot of money. But if your insurance doesn't cover it, you know, for theft, then um, it's, it's, it's your choice. But personally, I will keep removing it and each time when I remove it, I have to readjust the camera before I set off because otherwise, um, because this is quite easily uh, move the camera itself. Um, Otherwise, if you intend to leave it in the car permanently, uh, that is, you know, absolutely your choice and then you will not need to have to adjust the uh, camera itself. And as you can see, it's quite easy to use. It has lots of different function in the um, device itself and the resolution is really good. Uh, I mean, on a good day, you can see the car number plate very clearly, you can see the road very clearly. Uh, which I have shown you in the video itself. Um, I do find that sometimes uh, the map might be a bit laggy, so uh, probably because of the uh, GPS, I'm not very sure. So uh, I have gone to that place, but um, the map updating was a bit slow than uh, what it should be. But other than that, uh, this is a very nice gadget. So if you have any question, do pop by my comment page and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So bye bye.